Hello, this is Chef Edmund with My Next Plate, and today we're going to be preparing a spicy beef oriental stir fry. It's one of my favorite dishes. I hope you enjoy it. There are a few ingredients, and like always, I will list them at the end of the show. Enjoy. Uh, first off, we're going to start with our um, steak, and I have a flat iron steak here. Uh, you can use any type of steak you like. It could be sirloin, uh, skirt steak, uh, flank, it doesn't matter. Just uh, make sure you cut the meat against the grain like you see me doing here. Uh, it's very important um, that you cut your meat against the grain so it doesn't become uh, stringy. Uh, and uh, you also want to cut it uh, thin slices. And the slices, uh, by cutting them thin, will allow the marinade to actually penetrate the meat a little bit faster. So we won't have to marinate it uh, quite as long. Uh, and again, if you're using the sirloin or the flank steak um, or the skirt steak, just make sure you go with the grain and the meat. So, Next, I'm going to make our stir fry sauce. I'm adding one cup of beef stock. You can use beef broth if you have it available. Just make sure it's low sodium. I'm using a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of sambal. That's an oriental chili paste, so it's a little on the spicy side, so use as little or as much as you like. I'm adding a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Now these three ingredients that I just showed you, you can find them in your local oriental market. You may be able to find uh, some of them in your grocery store, but most likely you'll have to go to your oriental market for them three ingredients. I also added two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now the soy sauce is going to give us our salty component, so I really don't um, add salt to the to the stir fry sauce and until after we get it into the dish and I get to taste it. I'm adding two tablespoons of Chardonnay. The recipe calls for rice wine. I was out of rice wine so I substituted Chardonnay which is fine. It still works. It's still very good. I used a teaspoon of sesame oil. Now sesame oil is strong so a little goes a long way so don't overuse your sesame oil. I added a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch. Going to give it a whisk. I incorporate it. Make sure there's no lumps. It's nice and smooth. And this is what we're going to uh, use for our stir fry sauce. Uh, we'll put a little bit of this on our meat that we cut really thin. Uh, it's just the marinade. It's going to allow it to uh, get into the uh, uh, beef quick because we did cut it thin, like I said so early, earlier. So you won't really have to marinate it long. Next, I'm going to show you how to julienne as a few vegetables. Uh, we got a red pepper here and we're gonna cut thin even slices. Just make sure you keep your fingers away from the blade and you'll see I cut across the top of my knuckles uh, to protect the tips. I'm gonna show you one more time. We're gonna use a carrot this time. It's a little bit harder of a vegetable. It's a root vegetable. And I always cut uh, the little flat piece off first and then I cut th thin slices. Uh, not too thick, uh, maybe less than uh, about an eighth of an inch maybe. And you're gonna cut again thin strips uh, all the way across, and when you get to the end there, you know, cut, keep, keep your knuckles uh, flat so that you your fingertips are protected. Again, I'll show you one more time. We're going to do some thin slices, and right there across the top of your knuckles uh, to protect your fingertips, and that's how you julienne. Next, we're going to uh, get a hot wok. I, you can use a frying pan. I use a wok. And you want to get it scorching hot, as high heat as you have, until your uh, vegetable oil is smoking. I have three tablespoons of vegetable oil in the pot. And then we're going to add our meat. And you'll see that sizzle and that sear as soon as you add the meat. And it's going to start that caramelization that we're looking for right away. If you don't have your pan hot enough, what's going to happen is you're going to create too much liquid and you're going to wind up stewing the meat. It's still fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But you want to get that nice brown, uh, very similar to what we uh, have here. You can see it's getting that nice dark caramelized outside. And that's pretty much what we're looking for. It's going to add so much flavor uh, to the dish. And then we put the meat aside. And we're going to add a couple more tablespoons of vegetable oil to the pan. And again, you want to get it scorching hot. I'm going to add some thinly sliced red onion. Uh, I love the red onion for the flavor and the texture it adds to the dish. There's our julienne carrots we're going to add uh, to the dish as well. And we're also going to put the uh, julienne uh, red peppers that we cut uh, into the dish. Um, again, it's just great colors, great contrast to the dish. Uh, snow peas. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to add, I love snow peas. I think they go very well in stir fries. Um, if you want to use broccoli, that's fine. With any vegetables you want to use, uh, I added some um, oriental shiitake mushrooms. They're a little bit different than the ones you see in your local grocery store. They're a little bit thicker. Again, just cut them really thin. Uh, give the dish a few nice tosses. And again, you want to get uh, cook the vegetables down a little bit, get a little bit of color on them, uh, get that caramelization on there. And I added ginger paste. Uh, this is garlic and ginger. I make it myself. I just take a, a handful of garlic cloves to a nub of ginger in a food processor. And I mix it with a little a couple tablespoons of cold water and puree it. And you have your own ginger paste. And it will last in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. Uh, once um, we get the vegetables cooked down a little bit, we're going to go ahead and incorporate the meat. And any sauce that's in that bowl, go ahead and stick it in. Now, this is where I tend to add a little bit extra of the stir fry sauce that we made. It's going to add great flavor to the dish, but it's also going to thicken uh, the dish as it uh, heats up. You'll see that the sauce gets a little thick. If it gets too thick, you can go ahead and add some beef stock or water. I went ahead and added some Oriental egg noodles. Uh, they're stir fry noodles. I love them. We get them fresh at our local Oriental store. A uh, handful of cilantro. Uh, a little bit of green onion. Uh, we're going to give it another couple tosses here and stir it up and cook the uh, pasta a little bit. Again, you, you just want to cook it till uh, it, it all comes together. You don't want it uh, overcooked the pasta because it is a fresh pasta that's made. Um, you can use a dry. Just follow the instructions on the box how to uh, rehydrate the pasta before you use it. And that's it. We're ready to plate.